Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to show you real quick how you can create histograms in Google Sheets. Now the difference between a histogram and a bar graph is whether or not you're dealing with something that is a number or not a number. So here I've got some movie data and so if I look at lead characters, this is broken down by male, female, this is not going to give us a histogram. If I try to insert a chart, here's what it gives me breaks it down by male, female, and apparently capitalizing or not capitalizing makes a difference. But these are separate these are separate categories. Now the difference between a bar graph and a histogram is that these bars would be connected. So let's look at the runtime of all these movies. So if we insert a chart, now this is a histogram. Now Google does tend to put a small gap between them, but this is more of a histogram because on the bottom we're measuring the runtime in minutes, and this is on a scale where the lowest always, always goes on the left, and the highest always goes on the right. Whereas with male, female, you can switch the order, and it really doesn't change anything. So here's how. So this is how you create a histogram. When you select the column and insert chart, Google will automatically detect that and try to give you a histogram. Now one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to customize this just a little bit. So if I go to Customize down here, if I go under Histogram, right now it's automatically dividing the buckets. That's what these bars are. Now we can choose some preset numbers like 10, 50, 1, that's way too small. But the nice thing is, even though there's a drop down, you can actually customize this to your own liking. So I can type in 20, boom, there we go or 30 right there. And so you can customize this and tailor it as much as you need to. Let's see, change that back to 20. The other thing you can do here that I want to point out is under horizontal axis, you can decide what the lowest and what the highest value is going to be. So right now we've got one number between 70 and 90, but our graph goes all the way down to 50. Well, we don't need that. So let's say Let's make the minimum 60 and make the maximum 240. So now we've adjusted that. So that is how you create a histogram in Google Sheets. Hope this helps. If you've got any questions, please type them in the comments.